Our research tells us a lot about how people are not using their inhalers really. So we know that most people who have asthma and COPD use some sort of an inhaler and many people use more than one type of inhaler. We also know that anywhere between seven to nine people out of 10 people are actually using it incorrectly. So there's some aspect of that inhaler use that they are getting wrong. Fortunately, we know that we can train people to use their inhaler, but we actually have to show them how to use their inhaler if they're going to learn how to use it. And we also know that we need to check people's inhaler technique over time because they can show us how to use it correctly and seem to uh, be getting the technique right, but then over time it sort of drops off or they forget. So we sort of need to follow up over time. People have a whole range of problems and they vary depending on which inhaler they're using because there are some areas that are more common with some inhalers than there are with others. So for example, one of the common inhalers that's used, which is a metered dose inhaler, which people often refer to as just a puffer. People sometimes have trouble with coordinating the inhalation of their breath and actually actuating the device. With some of the other inhalers, Sometimes perhaps they might have an issue with loading the inhaler or with their actual breathing manoeuvre, so it varies. The problem with making errors in how you use your inhaler is really linked to the fact that these inhalers are designed to get medication into the airways. So anything that is associated with not using your inhaler correctly can compromise the amount of medication that actually gets into the airways. Sometimes it means that a dose isn't delivered properly at all out of the inhaler. Sometimes it might mean that a dose comes out of the inhaler but it's deposited in the mouth rather than going into the airways. So what we know is that if people don't use their inhalers correctly, the efficacy of the medication is reduced and that's linked to people's symptom control as well. To start off with, they can go on, I guess, on our website where, they, where there's links to videos of how to use their inhalers, um, as well as the NAC, National Asthma Council or Lung Foundation websites, where you can actually find videos of how to use your inhaler. But probably it's best to go and speak to your pharmacist or your GP because they can actually look at how you're using your inhaler and give people specific instructions as to how they can improve that.